saying good morning. Today is Friday and it's currently the junior doctor strikes. So I'm striking. That's why I have had these few days off, which to be honest, not only do I morally agree with, because if you guys don't know why the junior doctors are striking, then look it up on the BMA website. But essentially they've taken, we've taken like a 20% pay cut over the past 20 years. So we should be on strike. But also I have so much work to do from my Harvard course that I have been grateful to have the time to catch up on and also just like life admin stuff. It's 9.50 in the morning, I'm gonna go to the gym. I have my rucksack with me and it has my laptop so that I can do some of my Harvard coursework. But first I'm gonna make myself a coffee. Tell me there's a doctor in your house without telling me there's a doctor in your house. We always buy these from the pharmacy and use it to wipe down surfaces because they are the best. Guys, how cute. My secret Santa at work got me this mug. Thanks, Clemmy with all, honestly like the worst picture of me ever that she got off Google, but thanks anyway. It says, Dear Sebi, you are spectacular. Um, XOXO Santa. And this is a speculum, which is why the pun was spectacular. Um, but it's like Christmas decorated. Sorry, the milk fluffer is so loud. But yeah, let me put the lid on. Oh, that shut it up. So the speculum is like what we use in gynecology to do our examinations. Like we put, insert this inside the vagina so that we can have a look at the cervix. So as a gynecologist, I obviously fully, fully, fully appreciate this and it is spectacular. Uh, but I'm not gonna have my morning coffee in this because I want to drive to the gym and save time. So I'm gonna put it in a travel mug. This is a Chili's travel mug and it's my favorite. The only problem is it doesn't fit in the cup holder in my car, but I don't care. Like I, I want to use this today. In the mood. In the mood. Another fun fact about me and my morning coffee. I bet you guys like, why is she talking so much about coffee? But I always, when I buy a coffee, which is most mornings on my way to work, take some sweeteners uh, with me and use these at home because I feel like it's the perfect portion amount of a sweetener. <gasps> Guys, I've just done all this and I've realized we don't have any more coffee pods. I feel like that TikTok where it's like, it was in that moment she realized she bugged up. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave that sweetener in there and then buy more coffee pods today and I'll use that tomorrow. Screw it, I'm just buying my coffee from the gym. Also, I had foundation on my lips this whole time. I've got that dry winter lip thing going on too, which is not hot, guys, but we move. I just got back from the gym and I went to Waitrose so I thought I'd show you guys some of the things that I got because I really want to make a breakfast burrito I'm so hungry and I need to leave the house in 35 minutes in 35 minutes I need to make a breakfast burrito shower, dry my hair, do my makeup and get dressed and leave let's get started so dog treats I just gave Banksy one and let him go outside with it so that's why it's open but I love these ones they're really good Avocado, corn sausages. Those are needed for my breakfast burrito. Tender stem broccoli, chicken thigh fillets. I prefer this to chicken breast fillets. I think it tastes so much better and so much juicier when you put it in the oven. We have some fajita flatbread. I eat all tortilla bread. Um, I use this for my breakfast burrito, but also you can make sandwiches with them. You can do so much. Feta cheese was for my mum, she requested. Philadelphia cheese light, I use this so much for everything. Like I stir it into sauces or I use it for breakfast. We needed some squeezy honey. 
We didn't have any at home, so I grabbed some of that. Got some more dog food. My parents give Banksy usually home-cooked food, but I feel like he's something's upsetting his stomach recently because there's been a few episodes where he's been sick. So I don't know what it is, but when he was eating these dog foods, he was fine. So I'm gonna see if he eats this and he's still okay, then it would have been what he's eaten. And if he eats this and he's still being sick, then I need to take him to the vet. Salmon, king prawns, cream of tomato soup, love this. Like just a light lunch. Let's say you're like between meals and you are hungry. You want something that's heavy-ish, but like not too heavy. I have a soup. And again, this is for my mum. Uh, this reminds me of my childhood. She always used to have this jam. It's blueberry jam um, from St. Dalfour. That is everything. And my dad was just telling me off because he's like, you always buy these bags every time you go. Why don't you just put some in your car? The truth is, I forget. Like, even if I put it in my car, I won't remember to take it out of my car. So, yeah. I'm going to make my breakfast burrito and go shower. Well, actually, I'm going to put the sausages in the oven go shower, come back and assemble the breakfast burrito. You'll see it, it'll be good. Say hi. <laughs> Hello. I got him a, um, what do you call it? What's it called? Baguette. A baguette, yeah. So he's just come to nab the baguette. And he's like, don't show me. Ha ha. Guys, I just want to say that there's a whole match going on outside. <laughs> but here we are. Looking for potential husbands here, babes. We're here. You know? Watching from. <laughs> We've got Levi Colwell. Yeah, I'm taken. Jack Grealish. <laughs> it's Chelsea. <laughs> so, who do you like? Who would you like? Given that I don't know anything about football, it's a bit fucked, isn't it? A football club owner. <laughs> Oh yeah, that would be good. That's Don't a know nice any... one. Boys are fighting. Oh, boys oh. are fighting. Oh no, boys behave. Oh, I would have Poch. <laughs> I would have him. Pochettino. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Connor, fucking. Ooh. He's pissed. Oh, that Maliki. He was just watching so intently. I can't. Well, then head Nani. <laughs> we won! Today is Saturday, I am off and 
I went to a Pilates class this morning, which I feel so good about. It was a reformer Pilates. I did a Pilates class on Thursday, I believe. That was not reformer, it was just um, floor Pilates, mat Pilates. That was also really good, but I feel like reformer because it essentially works with resistance. It's a strength training resistance workout. I feel like the more I go, the better I get, like the more consistent I am. I first started doing reformer back in university. My One of my closest friends, Annabelle, she introduced me to it and Celia, they both introduced me to it and there was a place in Hampstead called Hardcore and that was really like the closest place you could do reformer. Um, but it really got trendy and gyms have like picked it up. So now my gym has a reformer class. The annoying thing is because the branch of my gym is so busy like it has a high demand they charge you an extra 10 pounds for the reformer classes even though we literally pay so much for the gym membership each month like i think it's 180 pounds a person or i might be mistaken maybe even more than that so paying 10 pounds extra a class is quite crazy because the other branches the reformer is free but anyway that's so besides the point i'm waffling i did the reformer this morning and i felt really good i try and do it at least like once a week but this is when i'm like in into my workouts i think when i moved jobs i had to restart my workouts and stuff and i traveled a bit in between so it got quite chaotic so i would say it's maybe a month that i'm really back into working out and um just eating healthier not because i've changed anything but just gone back to cooking more at home eating more at home and doing intermittent fasting because i feel like that works so well for my body and my mind and just my physical and mental health as well um but yeah i've been hitting the gym working on my mental health and i feel like i haven't sat down and had a chat with you guys in ages today i'm going to the nobu brunch with my mum for lunch i'm so excited i've seen it all over tiktok and i've really wanted to go so i will show you guys when i get there but it's like all you can eat and i think it's like a hundred pounds each if i'm not mistaken i'll let you know when i'm there and i'll show you some of the menu but i'm just gonna do my makeup curl my hair i just have tinted moisturizer on right now it's the it cosmetics CC cream and I think I'm in like a medium color. I don't know because they annoyingly don't write your shade on the bottle So yeah, let me do my makeup do my hair get dressed and we'll catch up This is my final hair and outfit my jacket is Montclair my skirt is Zara. I'm wearing a Kind of gelée top underneath that you guys will see I added this pink mommy bag for a pop of color and some boots this is the hair and makeup. I'm really late, so let's run. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. K I N to the G. I ride the gold crown, so these other lame C. Working three jobs to touch my dreams. I've been through the ring and I came back clean. Rolling with a team, more like my dogs. We roll a little weak, cause you know we let a buff. We don't play around when push comes to shove. If you take from my plate, I'm gonna show you brass nuts. But if you're cool with a team, I can show you some. And just cause we met. So this is my second place, got some truffle rice, some salad, some ceviche, my mom got a black pot. Like it. <laughs> I 
I can't lie, I'm really full. I went three rounds. I think I showed you guys all the food that I ate in each round. But it was a lot. And I'm waiting for my mum so we can have dessert together. My mum and I went three rounds as well, but she got more rolls. You got more rolls than me. I got just like all new style sashimi. I think I had like 10 pieces of sashimi. I had more. I had, yeah, those ones. I think I had like maybe I'm they. Old. I had more than you of the sashimi. No. Yeah. And then I had like four rolls. And then <laughs> we had a miso black pot rice. And popcorn shrimp. It's so nice. And they've got like a few desserts. And this is mine. Because. I am allergic to berries, so I've asked them if they can make me a cheesecake that doesn't have strawberry in it because this one has a strawberry like on top. Oh, is it? Let me have a bite before I like switch to dessert mode. It's really nice. It's weird. It's like ice cream bread. <laughs> It was very weird. It was like that tasted like yeah, ice cream bread with like sushi in the middle. I didn't like it. It's called the Monaco, and I've never had that in Monaco. <laughs> okay, this was insane. It was called cappuccino. Now it's empty. It's like one of my favorite desserts now. They brought me cheesecake without strawberry, which I thought was really sweet. Like as in really nice of them, really sweet. Um, this is a miso brownie. I'm not obsessed. It's okay. Um, but yeah, my mom's loving all the desserts too. Her mom should. She said that the pudding was really good. Really, really nice. It's nice. Yeah. I just want to say that this woman never usually eats dessert. <laughs> Are you okay, hon? Never, ever in my life I had this much sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, genuinely. Because everything was really delicious. This is my favorite, cappuccino. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Mr. Dennis, all of it is my favorite. <laughs> and I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> Eat. We are feeling sick and still eating. And you guys come on a water bottle in the middle of the restaurant. I'm going to show you guys what you're standing on. No shame in vlogging this for you guys fully. And I feel sick. I need to stop eating. Delicious. <laughs> I love it. I couldn't have stopped. You know what we were saying? We just like the variety. Because so many times when you go out, you get like three dishes, four dishes, because you're like, I don't want to waste the food. Whereas here, you get variety without wasting because like you'll have a couple of bits of this one, a couple of bits of that one. So it's the really problem cool. is uh, with the variety, you want anything you like more, you want to try more. Yeah. And as long as you try more and you love it, you found something else is really delicious yeah. and you won't have that. And that's why we feel a bit sick. I'm really, really full. <laughs> Probably for one week I shouldn't eat. Me too. <laughs> I have to go in the joking, especially the, the no, because the level of sugar just I'm talking. Not the is not that. No, the much sushi sugar. we didn't eat much. We just had variety. Yes, no sugar. I said because yeah. of sugar in um, dessert mm. because dessert is really nice. All of them it was fantastic. Honestly, I love it. I'm too embarrassed to put this mouth show you how many I've finished.